Each week since the pandemic started in mid-March, we have checked in with Governor Tony Evers to get the newest information on the state's response to COVID-19. I talked with Governor Evers earlier today as we head into another summer weekend. But first, we began with his reaction to the death of George Floyd, who was killed when a Minneapolis police officer pressed his knee onto Floyd's neck. That officer has now been charged with murder. And, Governor, thank you very much for being here again. Thank you. Thanks, Frederica. Well, you put out an impassioned statement today on the death of George Floyd, saying this was not an anomaly, and with it, we relive the pain of the death of black Wisconsinites like Dontre Hamilton. You say that we must see the trauma, fear, and exhaustion of being black in our state and our country. My question to you is, and then what? Well, it is, uh, it's a personal statement that, that I had there, but as a state and as a nation, we, we do have to grapple with the issue of racism and, and uh, how uh, issues are dealt with disproportionately, whether it's issues around the pandemic or issues about whether uh, people uh, walk away from an incident with uh, police officers and, and live. Uh, and so it, it, is, uh, uh, it, is, it is time for all of us to reflect on that and, uh, and make sure that uh, our hearts are in the right place. Obviously, there's policies that we can look at to, uh, to change things, but at the end of the day, the, the change has to happen internally. And uh, I'm, I'm just, I, it's, it's such a depressing situation, but uh, we can rise above it, but we have to address it. There was protest in Milwaukee this afternoon, the title of which was, No More Being Stood On, We Can't Breathe. Uh, Milwaukee, as you know, suffers some of the worst inequalities in the nation. Are these conditions urgent for you, uh, a public emergency of sorts? Yeah, ab absolutely. I had a chance to talk to several uh, leaders in the Milwaukee community, including uh, you know elected officials, but also community leaders today, and and clearly uh, th this is something that uh, uh, we we all take seriously. We we just we you know it, it's it's always easy once uh, we're a week or two out from this to say uh, to not think about it, but uh, this is this is a, a, a this is a watershed motion for a uh, uh, time for our for our state and for our nation. I, I'm just I'm very hopeful that we can we can take a look at racism. How it, how it impacts people's lives, how, how issues around disproportionate health care uh, outcomes uh, affect uh, certain people differently, certainly people of color differently, and, uh, and economically, housing, you name it. Uh, there's a disproportionate disproportionality, frankly, on, on, on all, uh, all issues that, that face us. And so, yes, uh, it, it is going to be an ongoing issue that we need to talk about. Uh, as if to mirror the disparities uh, of which you speak in Milwaukee, COVID-19 numbers and deaths there are disproportionately affecting African Americans and Hispanics. Um, and now the state reopens. Today we see that there were uh, 733 new COVID-19 cases and 18 new fatalities. Your comment on those numbers? Well, they're high, obviously, and we're testing more, so that 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 does play a role in this. But at, at the end of the day, uh, we need to continue to do the really important things. You know, social distancing, making sure we're six feet ahead, making sure our hands are clean. You know, all the all wear a mask. All those things are important, and we we need to keep emphasizing that. Uh, clearly, it's. Uh, but I, I want to cycle back. This this. This issue does impact uh, uh, people of color in, in, a, in a really extraordinarily different way, in a negative way. And if, if as a state, if we don't start to take on that area issues uh, seriously, you know, I'll just go back to something I worked on last year around our budget with Medicaid expansion. We could have had we could have had resources to deal with those disproportionate health outcomes instead of having it being shown up again in this pandemic, we could be working on it right now. And unfortunately, we couldn't get the legislature to think through that. Um, what do you think uh, in the midst of all of this, when, when you see crowds of people as summer breaks uh, here, not wearing masks and not social distancing? 
Well, I, I, I understand it as being, you know, cooped up. That That isn't something anybody likes. But if we're going to go out, we do need to do the things that are important. It just disappoints me when it, when it does happen, when I see pictures of that, that people aren't uh, uh, are congregating right next to each other without masks. That doesn't work. The, the virus doesn't really care about uh, you being cooped up in your house. It's going to infect you. And so it, we just have to keep reminding people. I think in, in uh, I think our business leaders, for, for the most part, do believe that these things are important and they're implementing those things in their places of work. But it's, it's outside of that uh, realm that uh, scares me. All right, uh, Governor Evers, we leave it there. Thank you very much uh, for your information and comment today. Thank you so much.